Now the L is that simple. Just don't pull the stroke out too far, otherwise you're going to end up with that big gaping space. I sort of like it that there's an ever so slight slant outward with that first stroke on the M. Now I want to think in terms of making sure that this is a symmetrical letter, bilaterally symmetrical, just the way we are, bilaterally symmetrical, I'm comfortable with that. N <clears throat> wants to have, this is going to be as fine line a stroke as that first stroke on the A. The N is not narrow, it's a one story letter, tendency is to make it too narrow. Cro cross stroke or diagonal, we call that the diagonal. Think, think. Two strokes for the O, starting right about here, thinking around, thinking about the counter appearing, creating the counter. <clears throat> Here's our join. It thickens and it thins, and the join is a follow through. You want to follow through the same way you would follow through with a stroke in golf or in tennis or, or other things. Now I think of the P as relating to the F and that we've got we've got a bowl on top and nothing on the bottom. Remember I told you about how some often leave a space right there. I think I'll go and put the Q down here. Now if you're really good, you're gonna make the Q exactly like your O. Remember there's an axis, there's going to be an axis that you want to harmonize in all of your rounded strokes. I'm going to let that tail, the tail of the Q, that's its distinguishing characteristic, minimal. I wouldn't go into that counter, personally, 